here? And where are you going? You look at your life. You look at what you produce. Is it giving you what you want? Are you living on purpose? Are you living your dream? Are you acting on your ideas? Are you doing all you can do? Have you gotten comfortable? Are you procrastinating? Are you invading your own greatness? Are you surrounding yourself with people that can nourish you? Are you challenging yourself? Are you experimenting? Are you learning something different? Is your life an adventure or is it boring? Why are you here? What brought you here? Investing the time, the money. What brought you here? What decisions are you making right now as you look into the future? Where are you going with your life? I don't care how hard you fail. I don't care how many times you fail the test. I don't care if nobody don't believe in you. It only takes you believing in yourself to get this thing done. As long as you believe in you, you got the right mindset, you got the right attitude, you can have whatever you like. But if you fall, I need you to fall forward. I need you to fail forward. Now, are there going to be some moments when you want to give up? Yes. Will there be some moments when it's going to seem like it's impossible? The pain that you're experiencing, the disappointment that you're experiencing, that you're going to say it's not worth it? Yes, that's, that's going to be right there for you. It's, it's going to be in your face telling you to go back. But don't let the distractions distract you. All right, you got to keep moving, don't stop. Separate what you do from who you are. That's what the guilt trap is about. All of us have made some mistakes in life. All of us have done some things that if we had them to do over again, we wouldn't do it again. A lot of things that if I had it to do over again, if I knew then what I know now, I would have done it differently. Well, it didn't happen that way. A lot of us, because of our limited vision of ourselves, a lot of us who begin to focus on problems and enable them to overwhelm us, we begin to think that we have no options. We begin to believe that there's no way out. You can always better your best. You can always go beyond anything that you have ever done. And I'm saying that the fact that you're still here, that you're still breathing, you've got some more work, and you owe it to yourself. So when you get up in the morning, that you can look yourself in the face and say, hey, I'm living my life on my terms. But I tell you, there are some times in life where you fall down. You feel like you don't have the strength to get back up. Pretend that everything's okay when it's not, and you go home and lay in your bed when no one's looking at you, when you don't have to impress anybody, and fear comes in. You know the fear that you have as soon as you walk into the doors of your house or leave there's a broken home. Maybe you have doubt in your life. Maybe you don't know for sure what's going to be happening in the future, and it scares you. Maybe you're, about, you, maybe you're worried about what people think of you, what people say about you. Just that fear paralyzes you. And I just want to ask you today, do you think you have hope? Right now, you're at the worst place in your life that you've ever been. I believe that this is your beginning, but this doesn't have to be your end. That just because you are currently here, this is your present circumstances, that life don't have to end for you right now. What is it that will give you the drive? What is it that will ignite the courage in you to get up and come back again and again and again? Your why? Your why is going to push you when you can't push yourself. When you want to quit and give up, your why is going to give you that edge you need, that advantage you need, that, that lift that you need to get to the next level. Your why? Yes, we're tired. Yes, we're hungry. Yes, the mind is saying give up. Yes, it's saying quit. But we cannot quit because we realize we have not reached the goal yet. This is not what I said I was going to do. This is what I talked about. This is not the goal. This is not what I dreamed about. This is not what it looks like. I will try 100 times to get up. And if I fail 100 times, if I fail and I give up, do you think that I'm ever going to get up? 
No. So I need you to believe. If I fail, I try again and again and again. For as long as I try, there's always that chance of getting up. You can decide that you're going to stand up to life. It's not the end until you've given up. There's still hope. You're going to work through this. You're going to get up. You're going to get dressed. You're going to get out. And you're going you're gonna, to you're gonna do what you've been called to do. You're going to be what you call me. You're going to have and you're going to prove to everybody that tried to break you. Everybody that tried to stop you. Everybody that tried to kill your dream. You're going to prove all of them wrong. I use the pain to push me to greatness. And I'm telling you right now, don't give up. I'm telling you right now, don't give in. Get through it. There is still time. As long as there's breath in your nostrils, as long as you can wake up in the morning, and that is how you're going to finish, you will find that strength to get back up. If you're still in the game, which means if you're in the game, and there's still time in the game, still time left in the game, you can still win the game. You can't afford not to be you. You can't afford just to go to work so you can get a check. You can't.